Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make mayonnaise, which is a simple emulsion. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard, 250 mils of sunflower oil, two tablespoons of vinegar, and two egg yolks. For the equipment, you'll need one glass bowl and an electric whisk. To make the mayonnaise really couldn't be simpler. All you do is add all your ingredients together, except for the oil, and give it a really good whisk for about two or three minutes. What you'll end up with is a creamy looking mixture that's nice and smooth, but it won't look much like mayonnaise yet. The next part of the process is the only really slightly tricky part about making mayonnaise. That's where you add the oil. So your first mixture is all mixed together, it's nice and smooth and creamy, but it's still quite runny at the moment because you need to add the fat. What you do is whilst whisking, you add a few drops of oil at a time and keep whisking. Try not to add too much oil at one time or worse still, add all the oil at one time, otherwise it will be too difficult to integrate and your mixture will split and you better see the oil and the other mixture separating from each other. But if you add them a bit at a time and give it a good mix in between, bit by bit until all your oil is integrated, and gradually the mixture will become thick, creamy and glossy. Oops, I almost forgot. There's just one more ingredient left to add. So now what have we got? We've got a nice, thick, creamy consistency but we need to add that little touch of acidity that we're used to having with mayonnaise so for that we're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar many recipes will say to use white wine vinegar but if you don't have any white wine vinegar you can use two tablespoons of any kind of vinegar that you have in the kitchen it gives the same kind of flavor And there we have it. In less time than it would take you to go out to the shop to buy it, we have perfectly professional looking mayonnaise. Probably at a higher level than what you get in a shop. But the proof of the pudding, as always, is in the eating. So let's give our, little, our mayo a little bit of a taste. So first of all, consistency wise, beautiful and smooth. Perfect mayo consistency. It's held up well, kind of solid, but not too firm. Bit of a big mouthful for mayo. I'll just take a little tight taste of it. Mmm, that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Now, of course, when it comes to seasoning, you can adjust your seasoning how you how you want. I think I put a little too much seasoning in this. If I was doing this again, I'd put a touch less salt and maybe a touch less vinegar because it's, it's a little a little bit on the strong side, but it's still, still a really nice flavor. But in particular, the consistency is beautifully smooth, velvety smooth. That's held together really well. But this is an example of what we call an emulsion. Here's a science. Typically speaking, fat and water do not mix. Unjustified. She gave me the green Oil light. I did nothing and water. <laughs> Do you think I can't see you in the TV set? I like two friends that just can't get along. You had no right to go out with him. That is the most ridiculous you thing. Me out. Just, you know the type. Always arguing. Always fighting. You can shake them up and they look like they will mix, but it's only temporary. Because before long, they're separated again. It 
In order to achieve peace and bring oil and water together, we need that third friend. They're the one that both oil and water actually like. There we go. We'll call that friend the emulsifier. One side of them is hydrophilic, which means they love water but hate oil. On the other side, they are hydrophobic, which means they get along just fine with oil but hate water. So, with one hand, the emulsifier takes hold of oil, and with the other hand, it takes hold of water. And the result is peace. And all three elements live creamily ever after. There you go. That's the science behind mayonnaise. Once again, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Lybird. For you, you can call me sir. Of things we know.